Dear students and friends, in this video I am going to explain about development of surface of solids. The development can be defined something like this. When the surface of the solid are laid down one edge to the other on a plane, then the figure obtained is called as development of the solid. Let us consider this solid. I will keep all the faces of this particular solid on a paper as shown here. Then this figure obtained on a plane surface is called a development of the solid. To draw the developments, we have three different methods. First method is parallel method. Second one is radial line method. Third one is triangulation method. This parallel method is applicable for prisms and cylinders. Radial line method is applicable for cones and pyramids. Triangulation method is applicable for a special solid called as a transition piece. I will explain all these methods in detail in the coming videos. Now see the definition of lateral surface. Lateral surface means the surface of the solid omitting the basis is called lateral surface. So here if you see the complete development is like this. This particular part belongs to this space. This particular part belongs to this space. If you omit these two parts, the remaining part of the development is called as a development of the lateral surface like this. In our problems, we will draw the development of lateral surface only because keeping the base is very easy. Getting the lateral surface is somewhat difficult. That's why we will focus on the lateral surface only. Let us see this problem. Draw the development of part P of the cube. This is a cube. Now for understanding purpose, I will show the three dimensional view. So cube is something like this. This portion is removed. Then the remaining portion will be like this. For this, if you draw the development these surfaces you have to obtain on the development if you keep all the surfaces like this you will get the this portion of the cube okay if you keep all the surfaces one adjacent to the other it will be like this this surface is nothing but this one this surface is this this one is here this one is here okay we have to obtain this now i'll explain the procedure to draw that part shown in the figure so for that you first start with the top view. In the top view, we have to draw the square because it is a cube. In the top view, it appears as a square of side 30. Call this top base as ABCD. Then bottom base as EFGH. Then project the front view. <coughs> In the front view, we have to represent the height that is again same as 30. Now you project these points to the front view. Here you will get A dash behind that E dash that is the top base. Here you will get B dash behind that C dash. In the bottom side E dash H dash here F dash G dash here. Okay. Now from the top corner at a distance of 15 you have to draw a 45 degree line to get the section like this. If you draw a 45 degree line that will intersect somewhere here. From here if you draw a projector that will again intersect this at the midpoint exactly that means total is 30 this is 15. Along this cutting plane if you start marking the cutting points this one dash is the cutting point which lies on AE here. Okay. Next you move towards your right hand side like this while traveling from left to right you have to identify the visible cutting points this AE is on the visible one. Next here it is cutting the base. That base is nothing but AB. That cutting point is 2 dash. That means 2 dash is on AB. Okay. Next when you are moving from right to left in the reverse direction you have to identify the invisible cutting points. So here AB is there. CD is also there. Or DC is also there. DC is on the reverse side that is invisible. So invisible cutting point now I will mark here. That is 3 dash. Invisible cutting point is 3 dash. Okay. <clears throat> Next, if you are moving like this, here it is cutting AE is over behind this AE, DH is there. So DH is also it is cutting that cutting point is 4 dash. Okay. So 4 cutting points you are getting here 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. All these points, if you connect like this, you will get the part required portion P. This is part P. For this, you have to draw the development. So now for prisms you have to apply the parallel line method. So that's why drop two parallel lines like this from top base and bottom base. 
somewhere here you can randomly take the first point to represent all the faces this is the first face edge that is ae from ae at a distance of 30 you have to represent the second face edge that is fb at a distance of from ae at a distance of 30 you represent the second face edge that is bf from bf next face edge is cg the distance is again 30 means at again 30 you have to represent cg this is cg after cg next face edge is this that is dh the distance is 30 again at 30 you represent dh next after that dh to ae to get this particular one again you have to represent ae the distance is again 30 so last one will become again ae only this one is again ae okay in this way here four faces are there all those four faces you have to represent here on the development in between the parallels like this okay next we have to plot these points when a point is on the face edge you have to draw the locus line onto that particular face edge okay so from one dash you draw a locus like this so this one point will be on ae so here and here also you will get point one next when the cutting point is on the base you have to take the distance along the base from the top view so two dash point distance is in between a b at a distance of 50 in between a b at a distance of 15 so from a you mark 15 distance like this here you mark second point two next where is the third point third point is in between c d from c the distance is again 15 from c you mark 15 distance here one two you join cd distance c to 15 distance you mark this point is 3 okay next the fourth point is on <coughs> dh so this is dh on dh along this locus here you will get the fourth point this is fourth point okay you join all these points like this so this is the outer contour here bf face edge we require that's also you have to draw as a thick line cg also completely required draw a thick line here dh is not completely required 4 to h only we require remaining portion we have to remove that's why this part only the thick line okay the retaining portion only you have to draw as thick lines the portion which you are removing that you have to leave as a thin lines in this way you can draw the development using the parallel line method thanks for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel